after I did my first film, Priceless, I actually came back out here again to shoot my second feature film, which was called Disarmable Vendetta, which right now is in the process of getting distribution. Okay. We don't have a release date for it yet. Um, but we shot out in Bayshore at uh, Kirby O'Kane's. And mm -hmm. um, we had also, God knows how many other uh, Long Island filmmakers in that, Drew Hendrickson. I know Drew too, see? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Drew's fantastic. Yeah. He's definitely one of my heroes. He's a stunt guy too. Yeah, hell of a stunt guy. He took some bumps in my film. Mm -hmm. And uh, Keith McMahon, Dorian Philippa, and like, God, I mean, I, there's so many people I've see met just mean? in the you years. I mean? yeah. We're like a family out here on Long Island. Everybody <laughs> knows everybody. Well, somebody who knows somebody, you know? It's, it's cool. Yeah. What, what are you working on now? Anything else besides that one that you're trying to get the uh, distribution for? Well, right now, uh, we're in the process of releasing my short film, which is called Night Stream, and that's going to be playing at the Anthology Film Archives for the... Uh, New York f New Filmmakers okay. uh, Film Festival. It's going to be November 27th. And uh, yeah, we shot this one back in March. We actually did some of it over at Regis House in Roosevelt. And uh, basically, I play an online radio host who seems right. to have like the answers to everybody's problems. Uh, nobody ever knows who I look like, so I have like this anonymous persona. And then I get a caller who's caught up in an abusive relationship. And I think it's kind of a prank at first until she sends me an email saying she wants to meet with me and the next thing you know I meet with her find out it's a real situation and because of things that happened in my character's past I try to step out of the boundaries of the show to try to confront her abusive boyfriend and oh. see if I could talk things out instead of bringing violence and harm to it but things don't play out as we think <laughs> oh. see it's going through my mind right now what's that you wind up with her um, <laughs> well, you have to see the film, of course. There's a lot yeah, more to it. Than to that. It <laughs> Business is really beginning to change to where I think where it used to be in the old days where you had to go to Hollywood in order to be in big films and to be in big TV shows. Now it's like, you know, they shoot Boardwalk Empire right on my block all the time. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't see any actors, but I know like they use the old houses for it. Right. So now it's like they're starting to move all over, you know, where it's in New York, New Mexico, Boston, wherever there's tax incentives. I, as much as I love Staten Island and I have so many great friends out there, I just feel like everything's kind of spread out and isolated. We don't have like a Long Island filmmakers connection meetings right. of any sort. Why'd you start one? Oh well, you can do that, you know. <laughs> now I'm giving you more headaches, right? <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm already so overwhelmed with other things right now, but I, I mean, know. if I could get the collective together, I would, without yeah. a doubt.